In Florida, I ban China from buying land in our state. No, no agriculture, no land near military bases. We also kicked them out of our universities, things like these Confucius Institutes where they will uh, use that to spew Communist Party propaganda on American colleges. And they've done a lot to exert power over our society. I mean, you saw that what they did in California, uh, San Francisco, they even cleaned the poop off the streets to be able to have President Xi Jinping from China come. And you look at how Biden, very deferential to him, you had, uh, he got a hero's welcome by a lot of American CEOs. Um, I thought that that was totally unacceptable. So our agriculture industry is part of our national security of this country. Uh, we need to be able to produce our own food. We do not want Chinese and other hostile countries to be involved in it. We also need to look to see some of the policies that they're trying to do from Washington that's going to be bad, particularly for this part of the country, like forcing electric vehicles on anybody. That is not going to be good for electric, for, for, it's not going to be good for liquid fuels. It's not going to be good for consumers. You're going to pay way more uh, as a result of those mandates. They, they did, uh, California and, um, uh, and, and Washington have, they're even going more aggressive in California. We may talk about this when I debate Gavin Newsom on November 30th, so just be ready for that when we do that. But they are in so California. Who, who are you debating? Governor, Governor oh, Newsom okay. of California, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because you never know who they're going to roll out in November of 2024. But um, so California recently announced all new vehicles must be electric by a date pretty close in the future. You can't buy a new car once that mandate goes into effect. Two days later, they issued an announcement. All electrical vehicle owners in California, do not plug in your, your vehicle. We don't have grid capacity. And I'm thinking to myself, this is so ridiculous, but it'll be bad for this region. It'll also bankrupt the auto manufacturers because people don't want these cars. So it just shows you what they're doing uh, doesn't make any sense. But if you talk about national security, yes, the food security, energy production here in the United States is one of the best things we can do to bolster our national security. We have more resources here than anywhere else in the world. We should be energy dominant. We should never go hat in hand to Saudi Arabia or Venezuela or any of these countries. Let's produce it here. We'll, re we'll reverse Biden's Green New Deal on day one and open everything up so that people can pay less for gas. We have lower energy prices across the board and we are stronger as a country as a result of that.